Thank you, Sue Sherman, for all you've done in leading us to rallies after rallies after rallies. Uh, you have actually channeled the voices and the ghosts of the women who came before us and are a living embodiment that the fight goes on. Let's give a round of applause to Susan and all the women who come here year after year, year after year to continue fighting. Michelle Casey is here, our president and CEO of Planned Parenthood in New York is here. Thank you for being here as well. Mickey Pelosi here, president of Central New York, now is here. And thousands and thousands of people all across this state and this nation are unified in one cause to fight for women's reproductive rights. And it starts here, right here, right now. And it is fitting that we come to this place where 300 bold, audacious women found their way in 1848. Women joined by the enlightened men of their time as well. So let's give a little round of applause to the enlightened men who join us in our fight. People like my husband, Bill Hochul, the first first gentleman of New York who's joined me as well. Uh, Son-in-law, Matt Glauderman. These are the men who are at our sides as we continue these fights. But for me, this is personal. This is very personal because I'm also joined by a young woman. Come on up here, Katie. <laughs> this is the young woman, my daughter, Katie Hochul, who I will continue to fight for her rights as long as I can take a breath, and then she will carry on the fight for her children and her grandchildren. That's what we're doing because we are sharing the torch today, and someday I'll be passing the torch to all the young women, the torch that is on in my hands from the women of Seneca Falls. They have fought so long and hard. The women of Seneca Falls, if we don't draw inspiration from them, if we don't understand what they went through, the fight that they never had a chance to see, realize, and accomplish, the fight for women's rights, the rights to be not treated as property of men and told what to do by men. 173 years ago that was happening. Today it's happening in places like Texas and Georgia and Missouri, and we have to stop that. Women have to stand up for their rights. And we have to say, it is over. So yes, get your damn hands off our bodies. Because we are sick and tired of being sick and tired, as famous Fannie Lou Famer said a long time ago. She said, we are sick and tired of being sick and tired. And I know we've got the fighting spirit in us. We, we love to do this. We like a good fight. Let's get that out there. But the fight that my mother had to fight when she was young, the fight that I fought when I was younger, should not be a fight that Katie in her 30s fights today for reproductive health. But New Yorkers will continue to lead the way. Just like in 1917, we were three years ahead of the rest of the nation in earning the right to vote for women. In 1970, we were three years ahead of the nation in ensuring reproductive health rights right here in the state of New York. And in 2021, we are laying down the gauntlet once again. If you are in a state where oppression is the law of the land, you come to New York. And just like we have Lady Liberty in our harbor, who stood there since 1886 saying, send me those who've been oppressed. You will find a safe harbor in our state. We offer a state safe harbor now, today, in 2021 and forward to the women across this nation. 58% of reproductive age women are living in states where their rights are under assault. You come to New York and you'll be part of our family. We will take care of you. Make sure you have the health care you deserve. You come right here. And I see a sign from someone from Texas right now. You're from Texas? You are part of the New York family starting right here, right now. So my friends, thank you for joining. Thank you for carrying the torch. And be prepared that while we have the torch in our hands, it will glow even brighter and stronger. And that's what I'm going to continue to do as your first female governor, something I take so seriously, that the voices of the women in this community, the women who fought so hard, I have to carry that on on their behalf. And we will succeed. We will be strong, and we will prove once and for all that women can lead with strength, but also with heart and conviction. That is what we're going to do. We're going to do it together, my friends. Thank you for being here today.